there's a story that many of us tell ourselves, and it goes like this. We're too late in life, maybe too old, to be successful at something new. Now, you might tell yourself that story if you're in your late 20s in Hollywood, or if you're in your 30s in Silicon Valley, or in your 40s in corporate America. The point is, in all walks of life, we have that same supposed reason we can't do something. But is it true? In today's episode, I look at a TED Talk given that challenges this notion. So before more time passes, let's look at the real relationship between your age and your chance of success. Welcome to Every Day a New Thought. I'm Thor Chalgren, and every weekday I share one new thought. It's TGI TED, thank goodness it's TED, a feature on the show where I look at one TED Talk that inspires me. And I'll put the links for the other shows in this series in the show notes below, and I'll also have the link for this particular TED Talk that I'm going to share today, also in the show notes. And also, great news, my own TEDx talk is now available, and it's called Why You Should Embrace Chaos on Vacation. That is also in the show description below. But today, I'm talking about a TEDx talk given in 2019, and it's called The Real Relationship Between Your Age and Your Success. This is a talk given by Albert Laszlo Barabasi. He is a data scientist who, in his talk, looked at the data correlation between age and success. He starts by quoting Albert Einstein, who said, a person who has not made his great contribution in science before the age of 30 will never do so. Now, obviously, the speaker, who is himself a scientist, took some exception to that. And it's easy to see why. You know, in society, we see lots of supposed evidence that people only succeed when they are young. All you have to do is look at things that are popular in our culture, like sports, movies, Hollywood, Silicon Valley, Wall Street. Everywhere you look, it's easy to see what appears to be evidence that you have to be young to succeed. And in science, even, the, the speaker says that the data at first seems to confirm what Einstein said. But then Barabasi looks at it further, and he discovers that what he says is, while performance is bounded, success is unbounded. He actually looks at the performance gains of someone like Usain Bolt, who literally runs only one second or less faster than the person he beats. So that on a certain level is bounded, but the success that's possible for all of us is unbounded. And the data point that he looks at throughout his talk is this age at which scientists publish papers, which is a marker for how successful you are at a scientist. And he says at first, yes, the data does seem to confirm that there is a drop off at a certain age. But then he looks at it further and he finds that there are many instances of people who succeed later in life. In fact, one scientist publishes a Nobel Prize winning paper that is the very last thing that he does in his professional life when he's seven years old. So maybe the point is people believe that at a certain age they can't succeed. So they stop performing. They stop putting in the effort. And I think this is the big takeaway from this talk, which is that creativity doesn't age. Only productivity does. Meaning, in other words, you can be creative at any age. But if you choose to stop being productive, you won't be successful. So my big takeaway for this is his closing message. Success can come at any age as long as you don't give up. This is a fun, engaging talk. He has some great visual images in the talk, including an animated mouse that appears throughout the entire talk. It's a lot of fun. If you're at a place where you want some inspiration for believing that you can succeed 
at any point in life, I highly recommend this talk. That's the show for today. If you like this episode, please hit like if you're watching on YouTube. If you're listening to the podcast, please subscribe or follow the show on your favorite podcast app. Until next time, thanks for watching.